Hi, my name is Cecily, and I'm a junior from Gretna High School. I like to people watch. I like to watch the way they move, the way their mouths move, the way they talk, the way they walk, the different things they do. I like to watch you. I like to watch you with your friends because you laugh and you smile and I like to watch the way your eyes light up as you think of a funny joke and you get this stupid crooked grin. I don't like to watch you with her because she isn't me. I am a hopeless romantic and an awful procrastinator, which is why I waited till the day before Valentine's Day to tell you that I like low-key, but like actually high-key like, like you. <laughs> because after a night of listening to you talk about her, I couldn't take it anymore because she isn't me. You give me chills, boy. The kind of chills that keep me up at night because I'm thinking of how nice it would be to sink my hands into your head full of curls. The chills that kept me distracted in class because I'm thinking of how nice it would be to wear your hoodie clothed arms around my waist. The chills that kept me excited in the morning because I'm thinking of how nice it would be to hear your morning voice whisper in my ear. You gave me fireflies, boy, the fireflies that tickled my stomach when you'd come to class before fourth hour to talk to me about nothing at all. The fireflies whose fast-paced wings would beat the breath from my throat when you told me how badly you wished I would drive over to your house with a bag for fruity pebbles at 11 at night. The fireflies whose bodies would light up my face when you'd walk into class and your eyes would meet mine with that stupid grin that would leave your glasses slightly crooked on their perch upon the bridge of your nose. And you gave me snotty, hiccuping tears the night you told me, I don't feel the same. You gave me breathless heaves of gasping air the night you told me I chose someone else. And boy, you gave me pain in my heart. I didn't know I was capable of feeling for a boy on prom when I watched you put your arms around her and tell me, yeah, we're kind of together now. And I cried. I cried because she isn't me, because I'm not her, because I'm not good enough for you. How can I be as pretty and beautiful and freaking amazing as you say I am? and I'm still not the girl for you. How can we be the perfect couple but and a match made in heaven and I'm still not the girl you want? How can I be as smart as you say I am and I still fall for you, the boy I thought you were? But you're not the boy I thought you were. You're the boy I thought I'd like to know that started with people watching in our classes together, that started with laughing at your more than stupid Spanish jokes in Spanish that started with glances behind me in chemistry class that started with tactfully adding you on Snapchat and then asking for your phone number. Boy, you taught me that even if you give someone your everything, they can still treat you like nothing because I gave you my everything, my time, my interest, my concern, my feelings, my heart, but you didn't want it. You didn't want me because I'm not good enough for you. I like to people watch how they interact with each other, how now we never look, we never talk to each other, but we make, I'm sorry, how now we avoid eye contact at all possible, but exchange nervous glass, glances in class, how now when I reach for my phone, I hope it's you and my heart plummets every time I see it's not. We never talk anymore. And it's killing me, not being able to tell you about the new song I found or the stupid joke I found or how I saw your ex in the hallway and was triggered for you, but it's okay because you're just a boy. Because someday I know I won't care about you anymore. I just need to wait it out and people watch for someone else, someone who's good for me, someone who isn't you. Thank <laughs> you.